can see that I routed the main motherboard power cable here. These wires are the uh, some of the front panel connections, um, you know, uh, LEDs, switches, that kind of thing. These heavy-duty cables here are the USB 3, USB 2, and the high-definition audio. Um, these are the 12-volt power supplies to the top of the motherboard. This uh, is the 12-volt to the bottom of the motherboard. These are two connections for uh, the SATA drives, and we're going to put those in next. Uh, we're going to start with this, which is a um, 512 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. I put it on one of these little toolless car carriers. You spring this little thing back and slide it in, and then this little thing uh, puts a little tension and holds it in place. But um, I was a little bit overzealous on one of them and uh, pressed a little too hard and it, it snapped. So just be a little careful. All right, so we're going to... Also, the connections are a little a little tricky to get on. So this goes like this. So we'll put the power cable on. Because it... Cables aren't really all that flexible. The um, data cable is really nice. They're just they they're real flexible and they just snap snap on. I can uh, get it to latch. So you can see it uh, when it's connected. What it looks like. And then we'll just, there's little nubs here that fit in some little slots in the side of the cabinet. And then when they're in place, you just press that in there and it locks in place. And then we're just going to adjust these wires around here. And it looks like we're going to have to wrap this down this way. And uh, these are, these Velcro uh, tie wraps are really awesome because you can just unlatch them and run another cable in and dress a little bit and just pull it tight and it's uh, held in place so we just tuck this one in and out of the way and so now we just got our two and a half inch drive installed. And we'll do the same thing for the three and a half inch, but that's on the front. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna install the hard disk. And uh, it just comes on this little, this little carrier pulls out of the, the cage and it's flexible. And so you just put the two pins, you got the mounting, mounting hardware, you just line up the pins on one side and then just uh, bend the other pins in, and now the carrier, the hard disk is attached to the carrier, and it just slides in like that. It's in place. Um, I added another uh, SATA cable. The solid state drive is on port one. The uh, I left port two open for another solid state drive, and I put the, the first hard disk on port three. And then I've also routed the cable up behind behind the cage. We um, we've got the hard disk in there, and we've got the cable routed. And so we're going to attach. And it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. I had to take the uh, the. Um, um, card holder for the two and a half inch out. Maybe I had that on the back. And you're gonna have to make it a little bit of a 90 degree. Let's get this in here. Get this cable out of the way. Oh, 
feels like it's in there. And then we used the 90 degree saw to cable so that it wouldn't interfere with the next drive that I put in. And there we go. All right. I'll just push these down in here. So route them so that they're a little bit straighter and out of the way. All right. And then now I can put the uh, other bracket um, back in place now that these are in place.